Hola, aquí Perjo Acien y hoy vamos a continuar el episodio, el capítulo 2, a ver con qué nos encontramos. Lo habíamos dejado ahí cuando cuando la, eh, cuando la murió la perra, se la comió un animal, no sé si era un tigre o creo que sí, un, un tigre. Y le dejé en libertad al tigre, por eso se llevó la, la perra y no la pudo, dimos en dos ras. Vamos a ver a nuestros abuelos. Están en Beaver Creek, creo. Y aquí creo que también había una música, pero tiene copyright. Menuda caminata. que ya estaban por fin en la carretera. Viver Creek. Bienvenido a... Ya estamos. Aquí. Estamos casi en Navidad. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. I'm 
vamos, a por ello. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard. Look who's here. After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Well. It's kind of a long story. <coughs> Oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay. Inside. Both of you. Hey, is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Por fin estamos en un hogar. Shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Feels so awkward to be here. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. It's good to be inside. Finally. Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? ¿Qué estarán diciendo? <laughs> Como no entiendo inglés. Creo que hay que esperar. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about? Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, if, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that... he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But... why did you run away if you're innocent?
Voy a proteger a mi hermano. I didn't want Daniel to see dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey! You're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. <laughs> sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um. And Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh. Everybody else. Oh my. You are so sweet. Thank you, Lord.
for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and uh, Mushroom, please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? No, no We didn't come here to dig into the past. But I want to see what kind of stuff she had. Just curious. Daniel, she left us. She's gone. She's nothing. It's just us. You understand? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know. I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, Wait. does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though, and exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. Una semana después. I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. Um, I think I'll go student me. All right, I'm allowed to go out now.
Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo choo! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't uh, be late this time. Um, I won't. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bad. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Mm. What's on the menu this morning? Well. Someone told me the buttermilk waffles are back. Mmm, mmm, awesome. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. I said stop primero. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle. My friends. Oh, there's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> there's more crime, more traffic. Nobody can go out anymore. I think there's crime everywhere. I love Seattle. But it's cool here, too. Well, it's certainly safer for children. Everybody out here is a neighbor. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Sean. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel, Daniel needs, needs 
needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Vale. Eh, creo que hacemos esta parte y lo lo dejamos. Hey, Mr. Pout. What's going on? Why do I have to do homework? When I'm not even in school. Yeah, so I know it sucks, well. but you still have to learn things, or you'll become dumb. Okay, but these problems are stupid. <laughs> I know, man. Uh -huh. I've been there too. Just do your. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. <laughs> I know, man. I've been there too. Just do your best. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind? Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay, but be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just 
Don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! I'm busy! Yeah, busy my ass! Come over here! You gotta find me first! Daniel! I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game? I está. I know you're in there. Gotcha. Come on. Get your butt out. Okay, okay. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Okay. All right, let's get it over with. All right, time to take care of that laundry. Thanks, Claire. I hope we won't get Claire and Steven into trouble. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. Vamos a ver si queda algo. Vamos a explorar. Vale, ya podemos salir. Vamos a hacer esto y lo dejamos por aquí. Y en el próximo episodio igual ya acabamos el capítulo, depende. Wow. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Well, I'm gonna go
podemos enrollar. No okay. lo acabamos hoy. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? <laughs> yes. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! Um, see what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Uh, Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> Oh, man! I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah. Gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Hey, so oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel! Did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah. But it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Okay? Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? <laughs> 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 Bueno, aquí creo que ya lo, lo vamos dejando. A ver si se guarda y... Bueno, aquí lo, lo dejamos. 
en este último lo mejor era ceder porque era para salvarle y eso, pero como eso ya lo hice en la principal, prefiero ver otras otras cosas, diciendo que no lo use. Así que, que eso. Espero que os haya gustado este episodio y nos vemos en el próximo, que posiblemente ya lo ya acabemos este capítulo. Así que, eso, nos vemos en el próximo episodio. Un saludo y hasta la próxima.